Hey y'all, out here at Good Guys Indy, and I got a, a 65 Dodge D100 swept side pickup truck, kind of uh, slammed to the ground, just a good looking truck. I think y'all are gonna enjoy it. So let me get Kirby run down and uh, we'll take a look at it. Kirby, how are you, brother? I'm good, how are you, Scotty? Not too bad. Tell me a little bit about your hot rod. No, it's a 1965 Dodge D100 swept side. That's one sweet truck, brother. Thanks, man. This thing is pretty well stocked. And, and the louvers in the hood? That's all stock. That's and, stock? You know, as uh, Roger Berman, the builder of the truck at Lakeside Rods, he'll tell you we didn't want to scrub any of the ugly off from it, so we uh, we left pretty much all the body, you know, stock. It looks custom, though, man. Well, that kind grill? Of that, that's uh, stock. We re replated it. The 408 in the middle of it? That should say 100. Okay. If it was from the factory, but it's got a 408 uh, stroker engine in it, and so okay. we had that custom built. And it's on air? Air ride. All right. And what size wheels are you running on it? Got 18s and, and 20s. They're uh, US mag uh, wheels. You didn't change any of the body lines on it? Nothing. Nothing's changed that way. I love what you did with the satin for the roof, though, and the rest of it's shiny, right? Yeah, it's... Uh, tell me that was stock, too? No, well, <laughs> I'll tell you, the, the color combination is fairly stock Pretty that close. way, but uh, the color is actually a, a Ford Edge color um, called uh, Mineral Gray, and the top is Tectonic Silver, which is also a Ford color, but don't tell anybody. I got you. Now, those next to that window, that little bead roll that's around there, that's stock? That's stock. That's a small window. They, they made a big window version, and that was just a panel that they put in to fill alongside those windows. So if you have a small window, you have those louver deals. But if you have a big window, then that's gone. It fills up the whole, that whole recessed area. You've been a Dodge fan most of your life? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. No, I, I, I've learned to dig these things, and uh, this is the second one I've had, and I, uh, I think they're pretty cool. No, this one's very cool. But I mean, what were you just driving down the street one day and said, boy, that's a cool truck. I think that's that's what we'll build no, next time. Roger had one that he was working on and I kept telling him it was the ugliest thing I'd ever seen until he got it done. And I thought, you know, that thing really isn't too bad. So I bought it from him and uh, that was the first one I had. And I've, I've since sold that truck, but uh, I bought this one from a guy in Tucson and, and had it shipped up here. And uh, Roger's been working on it for the last 10 months or so. So it's less than a year to build it? Yeah, I started on last August and what are we now? like June so, yeah. yeah yeah so it must have been pretty good shape when you got it it was a very solid truck right very solid now is this stock in here well actually the seat is a very stock configuration obviously it's been you know covered with leather that Dan Weber Weber's custom interiors did the interior work the headliners a, a little bit custom that's uh, that's uh, some Brazilian cowhide um, we thought that'd be kind of a cool different uh, kind of accent Got a 55 uh, Oldsmobile steering wheel, um, VIN air system, air ride. It's got uh, Dakota G Digital did the dash pod gauges. You say that steering wheel's out of an Oldsmobile? Yeah, 50, uh, 55 or six Oldsmobile. And then you use some satin paint in here too, to accent. Yeah, it's some all things. satin, uh, satin in here, the same color as the body. Man, it's nice. And what about that console in the middle there? That's custom, eh? Well, it is. That's actually a GM uh, insert that came out of a late model Tahoe. It's got a cup holder. So you got Ford paint and GM interior parts? Yeah. That's a real Dodge. Isn't that how they used to do it back well, in the day? We don't really, we won't tell anybody that. You're, you're going to keep that part a secret, we'll right? We'll tell nobody okay, right on. Cool. Now, is the 408, is that a Dodge motor? It is a Dodge motor. It's a 360 crate engine stroked to 408. It was uh, blueprint engines, uh, crate engine, um, stock exhaust manifolds that we had plated. Uh, we're running a billet uh, specialties uh, front runner system. And uh, that is a Toronado air cleaner. Oh, that's cool though, it looks good. It looks like it's backwards, but it looks good. Uh, it's, I know it's not. I've heard it described a lot of ways. <laughs> but doesn't, I mean, the angles look uh, like they're facing forward and it should be swept it, back, it, you know? It's, uh, you know, it's one of those deals I saw, I just thought it was pretty weird looking, so I thought I had to have it. Sure, I love what you do with the valve covers, though, how you put the 408 down inside yeah, of them. Yeah, that was a Berman deal. He sunk them into a pocket on, uh, on the valve covers. And you got some more satin up underneath here too. It's all satin finished under here. Yeah, dude. That is beautiful. 
Was there any bracing or anything up under here in the hood you took out? That's exactly stock. And I'll tell you, these things, they got a lot of steel in them. So yeah. I'm, it's, it's pretty rigged. Yeah. You like it? So far, so good. It says Maiden Voyage. So Okay, this is the first know. time it's been out. Yeah, it's, it's brand new. Debuting brand new. it yeah. on Scotty DTV. Absolutely. You big timer. You. I've been waiting for you, too. <laughs> Man, you just don't see many of these Dodges done, right? And that one's cool. And I was taking some stills for this thing, and I was telling Kirby there that uh, <laughs> this thing is just photogenic, man. I mean, just you just push the button on the camera, and it takes a good picture. Beautiful job, though. I love how they did the satin throughout it and the shiny, you know? Let me give you a little peek of that bed. We really didn't look at that. That's yeah, not wood. It's, see, it's that satin on it again. Just a uh, very cool very cool truck kirby beautiful job brother thanks scotty anybody we need to give a shout out to well you know the truck was built by roger berman lakeside rods and rides in rockwell city iowa but i did all the heavy lifting if you know what i mean <laughs> um dan weber did the interior and he's an awesome interior guy he's been a friend of mine for many many years um so thanks to them guys um I think it turned out pretty cool. It did turn out good. Thanks, man. Man, thanks for giving me the time to shoot it. Hey, anytime. Folks, there you go. What year is it again? 1965. Swept side. Swept side. Dodge. From Good Guys Indy. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See you.